Rogers and welcome to another 90 second fast idea. How can we define and track value for money? The basic logic of the model is that value for money is achieved when the benefits realised exceed the costs of acquiring the benefits. Value for money can be expressed as the ratio of benefits to the cost of achieving the benefits. For example, the relative weighting of financial and non-financial criteria when acquiring goods might be 75% financial to 25% non-financial, implying the majority of value for money is achieved by driving costs down. When acquiring services, the weighting of evaluation criteria might be reversed, with cost at 25% and non-financial factors at 75%. The majority of value when acquiring services may be above the line in terms of benefit realisation. Relate the value map to the bid evaluation weightings. Service acquisitions are likely to have a more diverse range of benefits and it's more likely that value for money will have a stronger focus on driving out benefits rather than driving down cost. A trap is describing value for money in terms of a checklist to be completed. Quality, tick. Service, tick. Support, tick. This is almost a complete waste of time. Don't do it.